Hello everybody, uh, it's almost Shabbos and I'm putting together the uh, vegetarian gluten-free lasagna that I'm making with vegetables from Janet Chanecki from my Redwood Roots Farm uh, farm share. So we got these beautiful zucchinis. So the first layer is the zucchinis. I mean, actually I put a little bit of sauce and this is a, a fresh tomato sauce that I made this morning. It needs to cook for many hours if you really want it to be good. Tomato sauce that only cooks for a little bit just doesn't do it for me. And so now I'm layering the, the zucchinis, which we've lightly salted and fried in olive oil before doing them. It's, it's not the same when you just put them raw into this. So I want to, to, to just give them a light, a light saute. Okay, so I've got the first layer here. And now I'm going to put, what am I going to put next? I think I'm going to put a layer of mushrooms. These are um, portobello mushrooms that also have been sauteed in olive oil. Everything's been sauteed in uh, organic uh, local olive oil, Henry's olive oil, which I buy in bulk from my friend Henry's olives. And then I'm going to put uh, tomato sauce and cheese. I, I didn't, this was two onions and it really needed to be five or six because once you um, caramelize onions, uh, they, they reduce so completely that, yeah. So I'm just gonna do the onions in the middle and I'll have other layers. Um, so the onions aren't gonna go in yet. Okay, and then tomato sauce. And in the tomato sauce, there's um, also onions that, you know, were cooked in the tomato sauce, but my tomato sauce isn't really, and you don't have to make your own tomato sauce to do this, but you know, everything's better when you do it yourself. Okay, then this is ricotta uh, with um, chopped fresh basil, also from Janet, my farmer Janet from Redwood Roots Farm. And I'm putting, so this is not a vegan one, but you could do this without the cheeses and it would be vegan. So you would just need to put um, either a vegan cheese or some kind of other thing, or just do it without the cheese, because it will be delicious even without cheese. So that's the ricotta. Then I'm gonna put a little mozzarella. And, and I always put a layer, I mean, th these are, things are very oily, otherwise I would have oiled my pan beforehand, but the zucchini at the bottom is pretty oily. So that's of uh, local organic mozzarella. Now I'm doing a little bit of Parmesan because I don't want it to be too salty. I'll do more Parmesan on top. That's the Asiago. This is the Parmesan. Okay, then I'm going to do the zucchini again, but I'm going to do the yellow ones. I only have one of these. So the middle layer is going to be a little more interesting. And you can really layer these however you want. I This isn't uh, perfect. <laughs> Nothing I do is ever perfect. And uh, so I'm layering these. And then, and look, it's always so fun, thank you Hashem, when it's exactly the right amount of something. So do you see, I didn't plan this. There were two, I bought two extra yellow zucchinis uh, or squashes because I, I knew that um, I wanted more than just the green. Okay, so now I've put those, and now I'm gonna put these caramelized onions. And these were, this was a white onion and a yellow onion, and I put and sauteed these or actually I should say my dear friend Anna helped me saute these for a long time um, in my cast iron with um, salt and black pepper. Not much salt because, actually I don't think I put salt on them. I think I just did the black pepper and some Hungarian smoked paprika. So that's what I did with the onions. Um, and so that's just a whole layer. There's just, oh they're God, they're so delicious. I wanna eat one, but I'm not going to because there's not enough of them. I will eat one when it's cooked. Okay, and you know, don't be afraid to smush. Like this is a kind of a funny shape. Don't be afraid to use your hands. I always want to use your hands when you're cooking. If you don't use your hands when you're cooking, well, you should get out of the kitchen. Okay. Okay, that's all the onions. Now, uh, mushrooms. No, I think I'm gonna put some of the ricotta because uh, there's only a little bit of mushrooms left, so we're, we're kind of just, it doesn't have to be equal. Not everything when you're cooking has to be equal. It just has to be layered and interesting. 
that's a lesson for life too. <laughs> Equality is hard to achieve. But layering, layering we can do. So, of course, we should aim for equality, but it doesn't always happen. So, hopefully, we can get more equality, and in the absence of equality, we can have some layering and uh, complexity in the food realm. Okay. Uh, mozzarella. And all of this is going to melt down, so it doesn't have to be perfect or pretty. Another lesson in life. Okay. Cooking is all about life. Okay drop of parmesan, drop of asiago. All right, now some tomato, and now I'm going to go a little bit heavier on the tomato because I was a little bit um, sparse before, and then I'm going to smush things down and put the zucchini. I think I'm going to have some leftovers of the ricotta because I don't think I can do another layer here. We'll see. Okay, last layer of, yeah, I'm gonna put the mushrooms on the top. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's all she wrote. And I'm gonna put this in the oven and I'm gonna bake it for probably 45, probably 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, the brown, the top should be brownish, you know, not brown, but golden, because the cheese will melt on it. And uh, serve it up to my Shabbat guests. I wish you all a wonderful end of the day.